Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as a Florida Stone Man and today I'm going to be talking to you all about how to recognize karma when it hits you because some of you are truly getting hit by karma and you don't know what's hitting you. Now, what is karma to begin with? And this video might be a scary topic for some. Well, how are you going to learn if you don't even know what karma is or how it's supposed to work for or for or against you? Because just know that karma is a lesson. It's not there to punish us. It's, it can be our best friend. I've, I've made a YouTube short about that. Karma can be your best, best friend ever. When you're a good person and you do good, karma's going to be... Because karma's a mechanism that the creator has put into play to basically help us grow as people. So when you're a good person and you know you're doing the right thing, and you're on the right track, and you move yourself closer to God, you just completely work towards uplifting your vibrations and just becoming a better person, guess what? Your karma is your best friend because good things are happening all the time, but maybe you do one bad thing here or one bad thing there, and now you didn't really recognize what you did, and it's hitting you like a truck. And sometimes the karma that hits you guys is just neutral, Sometimes it's from our past lives because we we can come into this life with karma from our past lives. And like, even especially, you know, when you're a kid and you just had that friend who had, for no reason, they just had this dark energy. And it was just like, you're kids. Like, where's a kid going to get dark energy? It's not from his parents. It's not from the family. It's like, where this kid, where did this person get this extra, extra dark energy from? Like, where did this come from? It comes from previous lives. It's karma. So if that person was like some kind of killer in the past life, some really really bad maybe they just had bad attachments or like they were just included in, into bad soul packs and it carries over into this life and people don't even recognize that it's just bad karma hitting them from a past life yeah black tourmaline is good for working um basically getting rid of any any kind of ties bad spirits bad entities anything like that but when it comes to karma and let's just say you you're you're repeating a pattern that you did in a past life and it hasn't really gone away. So your own actions, like what I say about when bad people or people who do bad things wear crystals, it counters out the energy of the crystal because the crystal's working so diligently to correct it. So like I said, not all karma is bad karma, but if you don't recognize when it's hitting you, how are you supposed to understand what's going on? Now, for the people who are good and watching this video, and maybe some of you have bad karma hitting you and you're, you don't even know it, but I'll talk to you in a second. I mean, how are you supposed to get ahead if you don't even know something's haunting you? Uh... For the good people in this video, yeah, when you do something good, it's coming back to you. You forget about it. It's not good to ever be like, oh, I did something good. I'm waiting for it to come back to me. That alone can attract a certain kind of karma with it. You don't do anything good to expect something back. Do something good out of the goodness of your heart. Be a good person. Just that's how you live. That's just your life. If you're someone who's like, oh, I'm going to do good because I know it's going to come back to me. So let me do a little extra good today. Let me... Let me do this because I know it's going to come back to me because I need something to come back to me. That kind of attitude, that kind of just thinking and mindset will attract a karma onto its own. A very complex karma of you having nothing working out for you and you think you're doing good. And this is the whole what this whole video is about, how to recognize it. Maybe you're, let's just say you're a person and I know there's really, there's going to be very good people watching this video and there's going to be bad people. And there's just going to be a mix of people watching this video, but let's say you're a good person. And but you're doing things because you feel like it's gonna come back to you, so like you're just, you're just doing it for it to come back to you. Well, that's not exactly that's not pure of intent. The, at that point, the intent is not pure. If you walk up to a homeless person, be like you just gave them what was that? Uh, you just gave them twenty dollars. I don't know if anyone else saw that. I'm gonna rewind the video, but if you give the the <laughs> if you give a homeless person twenty dollars and you're like uh. Yeah, I, did, I just gave this homeless person $20. I'm going to need my karma to come back to me now. Yep, you just gave the homeless person $20. Yeah, I'm, yeah. God, I'm, I'm going to need my karma to come back. Like, or like, I'm doing this because I know this is going to come back to me, so I'm going to do it anyway. No, that is rotten intention. That is not good. If you're doing that, then you're going to get hit by a very specific and hard-to-recognize karma as to where you'll be at a point where you have nothing left, and... You're just gonna, you're really, really just going to, uh, it's gonna take a, a second for you to learn, but you're gonna hit rock bottom and be like, okay, wait, this isn't working out. This is uh, superficial. Do not be superficial when it comes to being nice to other people. Like, for example, if you let someone go on a crosswalk and they don't say thank you, 
You don't be like, oh, you didn't say thank you. How dare you? I'm not gonna let other people go through the crosswalk. No, you're like, okay. You don't have to say thank you. I didn't do it for the thank you. The things you do as a good person, as a genuinely, genuinely good person, you don't, you don't get mad when people don't say thank you. You just do it because you're you, and you don't even think about it. You, you don't hold it against people. I forget the saying that my mother's family used to say: like one hand washes the other. Basically, don't use things against people as leverage, or it's not pure. It's kind of like just as like a slap in the face to yourself. You're really hurting yourself in that way because it's not pure. It's not genuine. If you lend someone money, you're like, oh, yeah, I, le I, I lent you money last year on, like, on the second. Well, that's not, if you lend them the money and you're using it against them, you're not pure at that point. So the karma is going to hit you from it. Whereas, too, you're going to have circumstances eventually keep happening over and over until you recognize, hey, that's not working out for you. Drop it. And then once you drop it, and hopefully you do recognize that that's what this video is for. Once you do drop that toxic karma mindset. I mean, not toxic my karma mindset. Well, actually, it's kind of a karma mindset because if you feel like you're just doing it for the good things to come back to you versus the genuine goodness from your soul, then you're going to see good things come to you when you completely forget about that. So just do good and good will come back to you. Don't even think about like, oh, I'm waiting for this good to come back because I did it a few, day a few days ago. That's not genuine. Be genuine. Just be a good person and just focus on yourself and be happy and just full of love and just goodness and just spread your light upon others and don't even think a second thought about it. Like people you help, you're not supposed to keep bringing that up. That's not genuine. That's not pure. People who do that in particular, even if you're a good person and you do good things, if you use that as leverage, it's like, oh, it's, something's going to come back to me now because I did this. Like, uh, it's not genuine. You're actually not going to get the good karma from it. And you're going to get less in karma until you actually, uh, you're just going to get a very complex kind of karma until you're just a good person because karma is there to correct us so let's talk about the people who do bad people who do bad are constantly viciously hit by karma and it depends on what level of bad they do now i do have tiktok lives and for the people who join my live and say basically they say the nastiest things and keep in mind i just have return to sender crystals all by my camera so when people say the nastiest things and they're like oh They'll come back and be like, you're a witch. And I'm like, what do you mean I'm a witch? They said, I did, I said something really bad in your life and then something happened right after. And I'm like, first of all, I, I literally tell you guys, I show you that I have 100,000 crystals on camera. I'm showing you like different return to sender crystals. And I'm telling you that bad energy gets sent back and it's automatic. It's, it's literally just energy and dynamics and karma is real. It's there to help us. It's not there to hurt us. It's because... You're going to go in other people's lives. You're going to be mean, mean to them. And if they don't have thick skin, you might just ruin their day. And why did you do that? Maybe that person is going through something, you know? You know? So maybe... And people who make stuff up and lie, those people have very, very bad karma as well. Because they're going to get confronted on the spot, but it's going to be at a very surprised time. So uh, at, when X meets Y is when things happen. When basically your life's on a coordinate, the world's on a graph. God knows everything, so you're eventually going to be confronted, and you're not going to do it again because some major event happens. It always does. It'll happen over and over and over again until you guys truly learn. But like I said, it's there. It's not to punish you. Like even for people like who, I'm, I'm going to say this right now because it's a complex mechanism. Yes, but people say, ah ha, ha ha ha. They got their karma. Ha ha. Look at them. I mean, there's two kinds of doing that, but uh, no. Uh, saying okay finally like ha finally did this person learn their lesson like they weren't learning before versus ha ha this person's suffering so there's two different intentions in that as well so make sure it's what you're saying is pure it's like ha they learned their lesson they're not going to do it again thank god versus ha they're suffering ha they're suffering no because you're going to be in their shoes after, in like a few seconds so if you're laughing because someone learned their lesson oh thank god if you're laughing because it's they're suffering that's ugly. That's the definition of ugly. It's not cute. It's not pure. It's not of good intention. So it does return to you just for you to, and it's a, it's a very sticky web. So basically every single action we put out, every single action we do affects us. Uh, let me talk real quick about how to clear past life karma. Cause some of you have some gunk, like you have these entities that just follow you. I mean, the gunk comes with your patterns and your lessons, but if you would like to clear past life karma specifically, especially because of some, uh, astrological weather like some circumstances in mercury retrograde will completely obliterate people who have bad past life karma so people are like 
Oh, I mean, this is really, really, this, I mean, this Mercury retrograde is ripping me apart because of, uh, basically the past life karma, that, I mean, and it's, no, no, they don't say that, they say this Mercury retrograde is ripping me apart, and they say it's because of people who have bad karma, and then, keep in mind, it's not just because of, because of this life, so the karma is associated with your patterns and the entities that you invite with your patterns, I know this is very complex, but yeah, this is, it's complex, but it's there to help you. This video is about how to recognize it. The easiest way to recognize it is when something happens to you that is not in your favor, just ask yourself like, hey, what can I basically talk to God and be like, hey, what can I do to avoid whatever is going on so this doesn't happen again and so that I have a better circumstance and better situation? Like, is there something I'm doing? Is there something I'm not supposed to be doing? Is there something I'm not doing? Just ask questions, be completely aware, be completely self-conscious. Uh, if they even, like, they should make it a day of the year be like a uh, national self awareness month or a national self awareness day where like, the whole world is made to completely evaluate their intentions now like i said there's karma in every single block in every single field if you make fun of someone and for the people who make fun of people uh they're you're just making fun of yourself for, for the people who play games on other people especially i'll tell you this right now uh because i was in way 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 back then i used to be i have i, I hung around the wrong friends and these, my friends like to scare each other. So I picked up the pattern of what, like, just be like, ah, scare people. And basically my angels really taught me not to do that because one thing is when you have the karma of, like, you like to pretend and scare people, especially because some of the people in, come in on my lives and they try to scare me and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, okay, like happy karma. And I'll just get rid of them. But they don't know it hits them. And I'm making this video in case they watch and they're like, okay, why is this happening? Like, why is all this scary stuff happening? It's because you thought you tried to, you try to scare someone else. So, like, even back then, I remember I tried to scare someone way, way back then when in middle school. And they accidentally uh, scared me because, like, I was around them and they were super, super, super sick. And I thought I got the sickness and that really scared me. And I did, I tried to scare them as, like, a prank, like, boo! Like, just, and it wasn't really a nice prank because the friends I was hanging around wasn't nice. But that was middle school. I remember everything. It's good to remember everything, even when we're in middle school, because that everything is lessons so i learned that luckily in middle school don't even try to scare someone because if you try to scare someone even as a mean joke it's you're going to be the one scared in the end like you're going to be very harshly scared especially for some of these adults like oh i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell uh thomas at uh what do you call it the board meeting i'm gonna tell him that like yeah someone's after him and no one's really after him do you do you know what you're just doing to yourself do you want, like, can I give, the, can, can I, can I, can I give it away? Yeah, you're actually creating, you're manifesting through the karmic lessons that someone's going to be after you, and when someone's after you, like, this is kind of familiar, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, I don't know, I don't know why someone's after me, it's because of your own energy that you put out, it's coming straight back to you. Oh, if people could really recognize this, because people will think, oh, why is all this, all this bad stuff happening to me? I'm like, what are you doing? Well, I'm only, like, I'm only defending myself in conversations and talking about, like, no, no, you're spreading gossip. You're flat out spreading gossip, and the gossip karma is a very specific kind of karma, and it hits, like, a truck, and unfortunate thing is people don't understand it. Especially in the spiritual community, people like to curse each other. <laughs> and when their karma hits them, because, I mean, most of the time their own ancestors, when, they, when their ancestors and angels are still around in their own guides... When they try some black magic on someone, especially from someone who's innocent and doesn't, is not doing anything wrong, uh, they'll send it back to the person who sent it. The person won't have any idea what hit them. It's their own guide sending back negative energy. It's their own guides invoking the karma just to be able to teach them a lesson. And they'll get hit so hard by their own curse that they think the other person's cursing them. So they try to curse them harder. And eventually what happens is they their guides just throw back their own curse harder it's funny it's sad it's funny because these people don't know what's going on it's like hey stop that nonsense you want to get ahead but you're you're in your own house you live with like 20 people and you're doing curses and you're actually cursing your whole family you're cursing everyone you live with you're causing all this drama you, you, you're making everyone in your apartment building move out because you're trying to make your neighbor move out when your neighbor's five feet away from you on the other side of the door like you don't understand what's going on it's hilarious but it's really sad at the same time i'm like open your eyes like stop just recognize the energy of karma now there's th there there is love karma as well love karma can get kind of scary 
I'm gonna tell you right now, if you play with someone's emotions and then you just take off, because some people like to be players, like, I'm a player too. What's that song? Because, yeah, I'm a player too. And something about, I don't know what lyrics. I don't know lyrics. <laughs> don't quote me on this song. But, uh, I'm a, like, something about being a player. Do you know what kind of karma players have? It depends what kind of player you have. I, 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 I don't even want to say it, but for the people who play people the worst when it comes to love, those people end up fully alone forever. And every time they get near love, or because if that person really hurt someone else when it comes to love, they're going to to fully be hurt forever, and they're not going to know why. They're going to think that like they're they're just not compatible for love. When that person that they hurt was now is now their karma. That person maybe they recovered and moved on, but now that person who caused the pain. They have an energy that they cause the pain to someone else. So in order for that to, for them to not keep doing it again, it's happening to themselves. And if they don't recognize like, hey, this pattern's not suiting me or working out for me because the energy you put out is the energy you receive, essentially karma as well. That person who's a player is going to be played in the end. The hunter becomes the hunted. Remember, God is the most high. God is above everything else. And if, he, if you're doing some kind of ugly behavior, your ugly behavior is going to turn on yourself. Your ancestors, your, your angels, when they're still there, they're going to they're going to teach you. They're going to fully teach you because that's that's what they're they're there to help you uplift your frequency. And when you're self-sabotaging, they're going to shut you down with your own energy. I hope you guys really recognize that. And you can be a good person and you can be like a player here and there. Just like, oh, I, <laughs> I had all these people looking at me. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, I, I let this person on. Like, then I blocked them. In the end, you're blocking yourself. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. Like, maybe people are on, uh, because I know you guys use dating apps. I'll make a whole video about why you guys should not be using dating apps and what kind of spiritual energy goes with that as well. But, yeah, that's actually, uh, that's my next topic. Why you shouldn't use dating apps for spiritual people. Well, I'm just going to give you a little tip right now, a little tip and trick. When you use dating apps, you cut your energy up and you kind of divide it among several thousand people. It depends on whoever's on the app, but everyone's getting a piece of your love or heart chakra energy. And you just kind of give it in a way. But, uh, yeah, just recognize the patterns that you do. Everything's going to come back to you. When someone does something very, very ugly with me, I don't, it doesn't phase me. But I do say to the person, and some people are like, you shouldn't say anything at all. I'm like, well, this, I say, when someone does something very ugly with me, I will say this so they become a better person. Because I know they're doing it to other people. So when someone does the ugliest thing to me, or says the ugliest thing, like in a TikTok live or whatever, doesn't matter. I'll just be like, I'm just reminding you, karma's real. And it's just a lesson. So when it comes to you, please recognize it so that you don't, you learn from it. You become a better person. You don't do it again. And then karma hits them like a truck. And I'm going to tell you right now, the longer it takes for you guys to recognize bad karma, the harder it's going to hit you. Let's just say you, you called someone ugly. You called someone this or that. I remember a very, 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 very long time ago when uh, I was in college and I was just like, even I was just fully not feeling myself. And uh, I remember I, I closed the door and I had a coffee in my hand. And I saw someone. I was just, like, very foggy. I didn't get much that I did not sleep much at all that day. But that was no excuse at all. Luckily, I have angels to really correct me on the spot. But this was, like, very early on in college. And I just saw someone who was just, just looked at me or just kind of looking at me like, because I was just in a complete mess that day because I ooh, it was exams back to back and a class is 30 minutes away but I'm supposed to be there 10 minutes after my class just ended I'm like and I was that was exam I was coming in late on an exam and I had a coffee in my hand and someone just looked at me like look I, I would have looked at myself like that too and I said what and it wasn't nice and I was carrying a coffee my angel slapped the coffee out of my hand and I'm like, okay, and I actually didn't do that again because I recognized the karma. I'm like, okay, thank you. Like, I shouldn't have been rude or mean. Guess what? I'm not going to do that again. And I'm sorry that I did do that in college because we're all human. None of us are perfect. They're like, stop, man, are you perfect? Like, no, I'm not perfect. I'm human, but that doesn't give me an excuse to not try to strive for, per 
strive for perfection. So yeah, you just keep doing good. You put out good. And just be cautious of everything you're saying, everything you're doing. If you're neglecting someone, the karma is going to come back to you. If you're helping someone, the karma is going to come back to you. Just focus on your intentions. Don't try to play tricks on people. Don't insult people. Don't be nasty. Because it's, it's all, in the end, everything comes back to us. Even the little tiniest thought. Evaluate your intention. If someone around you is being bad, and you say, huh, I think there's something up with this person. Well, you said that because you think there, there's something wrong with the person or there's something bad. You're not doing it because you're just being mean. But if you're if you're stirring the pot and creating drama and you tell someone else, like, oh, I think something is up with this person. Hmm. You just created a little, little bit of gossip. You just put some energy in the air that didn't need to be there and it wasn't good. So that alone has the karma to it. So just be a good person. Do the right thing. Uplift each other. Love each other. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I hope this video helps you guys. Remember, karma's our best friend. It's there to correct us and there to uplift us as people into helping and loving each other. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!